In today's Lash Lift tutorial, I'm going to show you the different types of shields and tools you can use to create a better lift and make the process easier. We're going to begin cleansing the eye area, making sure it's free from any makeup or any oil. We're now going to put some under eye pads under the lashes. So this is to protect those bottom lashes so they don't get lifted. So place that under the eye, making sure all those little lashes are hidden. This is the tool that usually comes with the lash lift kit, but I'm going to be using a toothpick instead. You have way more control and it's shorter and sharper and easier to hold and control. So here I have two different products. So the first one is what comes with the Elabana Lash Lift Kit. Uh, these are rods and I don't find these nowhere near as good as the shields. So these you can buy separately. They're called Extreme Shields. I find they give way better results. It's easier for you to glue the lashes to them and it gives a way better lift. So I've decided to use a small shield on Kirsty's lashes today. So I know she's got super long lashes, but she wanted the most dramatic lift she could get. So a small will achieve that look. Now we're just going to place a little bit of glue to the shield and we're going to stretch all those lashes up onto that shield. So just keep working it through, keep going through those lashes with that toothpick. And as you can see, it's it's so fine on the end of the toothpick that you can get in between every single lash and it just makes it so much easier. Keep going, keep working until that glue has dried out and until those lashes are fully stretched out. So we're gonna go ahead and open step one. I normally take a little bit out and just pop it on the back of my hand so it's easier to apply. And we're just going to pop that all over the root of the lash. So it's really important to only place this at the root of the lash. If you go towards the tip of the lash, you're going to frazzle them out and you're going to over process them. So just apply this to the base of the lash. Nice thick coverage, nice even coverage. And then we're going to set that for six minutes. So now we're going to take that off after the six minutes is up. Try not to touch the waterline when you're obviously removing this product. Try and make sure every last bit of product is off the lashes. Step two, the setting lotion. Again, I'm going to open this up, pop it on the back of my hand, and then the same process, we're just gonna apply that in the exact same place that we applied the first one to. Nice thick coverage, really nice and low to the root of the lash. Try not to go too high up the lash line. This one is now set for five minutes and we're going to remove this after the five minutes is up. So I use a dry cotton pad just to get the main of the product off. Then I go ahead with some lukewarm water on a cotton bud and I just begin to dissolve all that glue with the water, keep going back and forth. Try not to press too hard, but at the same time, you want to try and make sure you give it a good scrub to dissolve all that glue. And then just go ahead and release those shields, popping a little bit of water under the eye as you go. So you can take off the pads from under the eyes now and then you can go ahead with some lukewarm water and get every last little bit of glue off the lashes. It's important to make sure all the glue is off the lashes as this is going to affect how the tint will tint the lashes. 
after you've cleansed all those eyes again we're going to go ahead and pop those pads back under the eyes this time we're going to make sure that you've got all those lashes on show as we were going to make sure all those bottom lashes are tinted I'm going to mix my tin, so I always tend to use a blue-black tin. I find it's a bit deeper, darker, and I think it suits everybody's lashes. So go ahead and apply as much as you can to the root of the lash and try and make sure you've covered every little area. If you get any on the eyelid, just use a damp cotton bud just to get rid of all that. And then the tin only needs to stay on for five minutes. After the five minutes is up, we're gonna remove the pads. And we're gonna flush out with some lukewarm water again. Just gonna give them a little brush, just to dry them out a little bit. and our lashes just went amazing. So I'm just gonna finish with a tiny bit of nourishing lotion. Just pop this throughout the lashes just to give them a little bit of condition. I tend to just wait a minute or so before I actually show the client's lashes in the mirror because I find when you do this process, um, the first minute or so, they sometimes still look a little bit wet and you don't get the full effect of the lash lift until they've all dried out. So as you can see, our lashes have turned out amazing. So she just wanted that extra bit of lift so she feels like she doesn't have to wear mascara all the time and they look super long, super curled, super amazing. Thanks for watching my lash lift tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you.